You're watching The Power of One. 2010 was dominated by two broad debates that either shaped government policy or threw it into paralysis, one of which was corruption, and the other, which is the focus of our debate today, is the entire dynamic between development and growth. And uh, joining me is uh, someone who's been at the heart of that debate, Montek Singh Alwalia, Deputy Chairman of the Planning Commission. Thanks very much indeed. Nice to be here. For joining us, and uh, Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you and to all the viewers also. Uh, it's been uh, quite a year for the government. Glad that it's over? Well, it's always nice to begin a new year. <laughs> and there's lots of good things that have happened in this year also. Okay. But you are confident as we go into the new year that we'll continue to maintain that 8-9 growth percent? Well, I'm confident that uh, what you're seeing in terms of growth reflects the build-up of many positive strengths in the economy which are the result of conscious government policy over a long period of time. And a certain amount, a very positive approach towards investors. I think that will continue. Uh, we should not assume that growth is automatic. There are constraints. And I think the most important constraint is infrastructure. Right. If we can tackle infrastructure constraints in the next two or three years, I see no difficulty in maintaining that 9% growth. Okay. And it'll be quite an achievement, so I don't want to make it sound as if it's easy. Right. But we know what needs to be done to make it possible. In, on, on the infrastructure is where often one hears or one gets a sense that this government has conflicting views or conflicting opinions. Infrastructure in the broadest sense of the word. And, and you've recently spoken about the debate uh, on, let's say, the, the coal mining policy on go and no-go areas. Do you see those as hurdles? To well, that kind you know, of let development? Me say, uh, governments are always balancing different objectives. Mm -hmm. And the, the success of a government doesn't depend on abandoning one objective, but on, on trying to balance multiple objectives. Right. Uh, the go, no go controversy, let me indicate my position on it. I do not at all mind a concept of no go. There must be certain areas yes. where we will absolutely not allow coal mining. Uh, no matter how much coal there is under those areas. I would certainly say, for example, that tiger reserves. Yes. I mean, there was a case where somebody had been given a license for a coal-bearing area, which happened to have a tiger reserve on top of it. Yes. And then they went for clearance. But clearly, I think we should have a system where some of these areas get demarcated so nobody, nobody gets a coal license and then seeks permission to mine. I would also include, for example, dense forests. Not every forest, but dense forests. Yes. The question is... Those what are is the broad parameters which the Environment Ministry has also laid out for what it defines as no-go areas, which are not dense, not dense forests. Uh, yeah, but it's a question. What is a dense forest? I mean... It the, says where uh, very little visibility. I mean, of, uh, the tree no, cover is so you, thick that... My impression is yeah. that there's dispute. I, I don't want to go into the technical yes. side of it. I'm not competent. But my, my only point is this, that... When we define a no-go area, first of all, that has to be within some uh, understood inter-ministerial acceptable Parameters. statutory process. That is what is going on right now. Okay, so, so it has to be inter-ministerial. It can't be just defined by one ministry alone and say these are the no-go no areas. No, it can always, I mean, the implementation and even in a way the definition of policy yes. is the responsibility of the ministry concerned. But when other ministries raise issues, then these issues must be resolved. And that's why it will probably go to cabinet. Right. So that's a perfectly legitimate uh, issue. Now, my reservation uh, is that uh, if you define a no-go area, and as the coal ministry says, I've not checked on this, if that means that 30% of India's coal reserves cannot be accessed,